Even when I lose my head, Hey, what's up guys? It's Top Shelf here. Welcome to another video. So I got another OBS tutorial for you guys. My last tutorial was about it was in March and I said if we got 15 likes, then I do a, another tutorial. It's 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 basically 2018 and I'm just getting to it. That thing had like 40 likes. Insane support on the video, but uh, I'll probably have a 2018 complete tutorial you know best settings how to get everything started so if you guys want that 20 likes on this video i think we can get at these obs videos you know get some good support um but yeah let's get into it so today in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to use the elgato uh game capture hd in uh obs this count this is for all types of elgatos there are a couple things if you have like a other Elgato's other than the HD 60 Pro so if you have like just the regular HD 60 there are some other things you're gonna have to do but I can't really show you that so you're just gonna have to work on it but I'll tell you what to do but I'm also gonna show you guys how you can listen to your PC audio so if you're streaming and you're running music or alerts and you want to hear that in your stream but you don't want to have like a you know head or earbuds under your headphones um, so you can listen to game audio too. I'm going to show you how you can bypass that and there are there are some things that you know There are videos on how you can do that But when I watched it and learned it, you know They didn't tell tell you the correct way because then when you do it it like echoes and the stream can hear it twice But I'll show you guys how to do it. So uh, let's get into the tutorial Okay, so first off before you do anything other than setting up your actual Elgato There is one more thing you're gonna need to do. You're gonna go to elgato.com slash en slash gaming um, I'll leave a link down in the description You want to click downloads and then you want to do game capture for Windows and You're gonna just click download the latest version. I already have it so I don't have to but you can also go um you know you can look at the older versions depending on what you want and they are all here but once you download that you want to want to run it you're going to want to set everything up first want to go into your elgato app like this one right here you're going to want to go in this app and just set everything up but once you do that you're going to go into your obs preferably studio um not classic classics older studio this is for the tutorial is for studio and it this is how it works best um so you're going to want to just start a new scene this is what it's going to look like when you first download obi obs studio you're going to want run everything you're going to start a new scene you're going to click the plus button down here you're going to click add and you may, you may be thinking you want to add game capture no you don't want to do that that's for like pc games like full screen on your pc you're going to actually want to go to video capture device you're going to want to add it you want to name it elgato um, so you can just keep everything organized you're going to come down here um, mine for some reason has like game capture HD 60 pro video uh, you don't want to do that you don't want to do webcam DX Tori Xplay you want to gonna want to click Elgato game capture HD click that uh, you should be good on everything if you want to use a custom you know custom resolution and stuff like that you can but just click OK once you're done uh, you can size that full screen mine says no single signal just because my Xbox isn't on but if your Xbox was on plugged in to HDMI's then it would be good and so now you got everything set up now you want to know how you can listen to your game audio through the PC you're gonna want to go to mixer you're gonna want to first off you want to go to settings and then advanced and then you're gonna want to choose where your audio goes out just so you can have it uh, or where your audio comes from so you want speakers whatever speakers you're using you know if it's your microphone headphones um, you know just choose your speakers uh, speakers here and then you're gonna want to click OK you're gonna want to go to the settings wheel under the mixer and you can't can't really see it but you want to click advanced audio properties here um, you can see there's only one thing now what you guys want to do first off turn the volume down a bit so your game volume is not blaring in your ears or your stream ears stream viewers ears um, and you want to go to audio monitoring so I wish I could can I make this bigger no not really okay so you guys can see it audio monitor monitoring you want to click this and you want to go monitor only mute mute output 
if you do monitor and output that's how it's going to echo because you're going to hear it and then it's also going to go out through the elgato but it's going to go through your desktop because you can hear it you're going to want to do monitor only so you can hear it through your headphones but it doesn't go out through the elgato so then the way this works is you can hear it through your headphones and you can hear the music and stuff too and all the music that's playing you know everything that's playing goes out from your desktop audio and then that will just play the game capture audio too now guys if you do have the hd60 pro this works for all versions but if you do have the hd60 pro you don't have to do anything else but if you do have an older hd60 with no delay the way that you know this is if you have the original game capture hd the uh, game capture hd60 um and then the hd60s i do believe that doesn't have a delay but once you're here go to filters now that you're in filters for the elgato you're going to want to click audio video filters add video delay async so just add this and then you want to find out how many milliseconds it is if you're using webcam or just your audio how long the delay is so for most elgatos i believe it's a 1500 milliseconds um, that's how long the delay is some it may be uh, 900 you know you just this is trial and error guys you want to stream to a second channel or something else that your viewers won't be watching just so you can test this out you know change it you know maybe 1200 works for you or uh, you know maybe you don't have to go that high maybe uh, 700 works for you this is completely trial and error I remember when I was streaming I did a 1450 and that's just work, what's worked for me, my webcam, my mic. You know, you just want to basically get everything with no delay on it. And the way you can figure out is if you have the delay, you're going to want to watch your stream back or have a friend watch your stream back. And basically, you're going to go into a custom game. You know, you're just going to want to go and you want to have uh, your fingers up. You're going to start with nothing. And then you're going to count to three and jump and then say jump. And then the way you'll know is if your delay is uh, gotten rid of by the time you say jump and like the three fingers go up, you'll jump on the actual game capture. So it'll be like one, two, three, jump, and then you'll jump on screen. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. That's how I, you know, do it. This is also good if you're doing live comms and you want to sync up your audio in uh, Sony Vegas. Um, but yeah, guys, this is like, you know, just a easy setup and, you know, the delay and stuff, my streams, I have all the scene collections, so I'm just going to use this as a test, you know, setting, I guess. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did slap a like on this video, uh, but as always, it's been top shelf and I'm out guy. Ooh.